culture eats strategy for breakfast. At least that's what Drucker said. I like to say it slightly differently, and that is that your strategy is being eaten for breakfast by bad habits. People sticking to what they know rather than doing what they know is right. Now, in essence, all successful strategies require you to change behavior. You need to get people to do different things. And that's not as easy as you might think. First, they have to understand, get a big why, you know, and that has to be valuable to me at an individual level. Then I have to sort of understand what do I need to change about what I'm doing to get me into this new way of doing things. And finally, I'm going to need the kind of positive reinforcement when I get tired, when things get tough. These are all critical parts of leading a transformation. Now in organizations, most of them are kind of stuck with getting too focused on getting the job done, on results, rather than developing and focusing on the relationships. When you're not nurturing and building relationships, you're not building the kind of mindset and skills that keep you sustainably growing and effective in the future. I call these aggressive defensive cultures and they're very common. And in these kinds of cultures, change becomes hard because people are stuck in a mindset competing against each other rather than collaborating. We also have cultures where people are complacent, where people are focused on being that dirty four letter word in organizations called nice. When we're being friendly and not being able to address accountability, set direction, and to be able to drive performance like we need. So in your organization, if you want to be successful with strategy, you're going to have to transform how you lead and not just from an individual sense, I need you to transform the collective mindset, the culture of your organization. And to do that, you're gonna to have to learn how to map what kind of culture you have today. You're gonna to have to envision the kind of culture you want in the future. And with the kind of techniques and approaches that make leaders the ones that drive that cultural change every day, because culture is in the things you do, not in the walls or in some other part of the organization. They enacted and reacted every day in all sorts of kinds of situations. And we need leaders and cultural change champions in those locations to guide and push people in the right direction to be successful with your strategy. And that's what transforming organizations is all about. Thank you.